Good morning. It's Friday the 21st of August and this morning we're going to read Psalm 51. Just to put a little bit into perspective, um, we were talking yesterday about Psalm 50 and about our attitude and about how God wants us to mean it when we're sorry. And it's not just about offering sacrifices and such like. So it's appropriate that it's followed by this Psalm, Psalm 51, which is accredited to David. And it's thought that this was written following David's adultery with Bathsheba. So let's hear Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, because of your unfailing love. Because of your great compassion, blot out the stain of my sins. Wash me, cleanse me from my guilt, purify me from my sin. For I recognise my rebellion. It haunts me day and night. Against you and you alone have I sinned. I have done what is evil in your sight. You will be proved right in what you say and your judgment against me is just. For I was born a sinner, yes, from the moment my mother conceived me. But you desire honesty from the womb, teaching me wisdom even there. Purify me from my sins and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Or give me back my joy again. You have broken me, now let me rejoice. Don't keep looking at my sins. Remove the stain of my guilt. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a loyal spirit within me. Do not banish me from your presence and do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and make me willing to obey you. Then I will teach your ways to, to rebels and they will return to you. Forgive me for shedding blood. O God who saves, then I will joyfully sing of your forgiveness. Once in my lips, O Lord, that my mouth may praise you. You do not desire a sacrifice, or I would offer one. You do not want a burnt offering. The sacrifice you desire is a broken spirit. You will not reject a broken and repentant heart, O God. Look for favour on Zion and help her rebuild the walls of Jerusalem. Then you will be pleased with sacrifices offered in the right spirit, with burnt offerings and whole burnt offerings. Then bulls will be sacrificed on your altar. Amen. David really is sorry for what he has done. He gave in the temptation. He went his own way. And... In the end, as a result of it, someone died. Someone was killed. And when the further prophet came and pointed out to him what he had done, David realised, his sin realised what he had done, which he shouldn't have done, and he truly was sorry. That psalm shows an outpouring of asking for forgiveness. It shows his attitude as he comes to ask God for that forgiveness. It's not just a... Oh God, I did wrong. Please forgive me. Right, let's move on. It's not, it's, it's a whole attitude. He talks about how his heart is broken. He talks about realising the sin is there. He talks about how his mouth has been sealed. But he realises just what he has done. And he realises as well that it's not about a burnt offering, as he says. But it's about being truly sorry. I mean, that's, it's, it's, these days it's probably not, it's not as seen as politically correct to tell people that they're sinners, to tell people that they do things which are wrong. You know, we live in a world today which anything goes. It's it's whatever you want to do. Um, you choose what it is. If it's okay for you, then it's fine. And we tend and we very much neglect God's law, God's words, God's standards. But God sets out in his words how he wants us to live. And we have to try our best to live to that standard. We have to try to be, you know, do what we can. We'll never meet, we'll never make it, we'll never reach it. We'll always do something wrong, but we have to try. If we know we're sinning, we should turn away from that sin and we should turn to God. That's a struggle we all have every day. Let's pray that God helps us with that struggle today, as always. Father, again we come to you on this a day that you have given to us. And we thank you for this day. We 
We thank you for the opportunity to read your words, to be able to share it in this way and to be able to come and speak to you freely and openly. Father, you love us so much. You have given us so much. You pour out your love onto us each and every day. Thank you. Lord, just thank you for your goodness. Father, we come to say sorry for the things that we do wrong. The things that we do wrong each and every day that we don't realise. But Lord, even more so sorry for the things that we do every day that we know we're doing wrong. And yet we still do them. We look for to satisfying our own needs, our own, our, our own ends. We don't actually look to see what you want us to do. Father, help us to open our eyes to your will to what you want us to do and help us. Please help us each day, Father, to live our lives for you. We know we will stumble, we know we will fall, but Father, we thank you knowing that you're there to catch us, that you're there to help us, that you will forgive us when we are truly sorry, Lord, that you will put us back on our feet and carry us so that we can walk for you. So Father, today, and every day, please help us to do that. Lord, thank you. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Thanks, folks, for joining with me again this morning. Uh, again, not on tomorrow morning, uh, with it being Saturday, back on Sunday morning at 11 o'clock for our service with the, uh, one of our elders starting it off and then linking in with the moderator service. I trust you can join us for that. Um, and I trust that you have an enjoyable and a peaceful weekend. Take care. See you soon. God bless.